It's never Nago. So first off, before we get into what this video is about, um, I just want to mention that I did film this makeup look and it should either already be up or it will be up super soon. But today I want to talk about products, makeup products that I think are underrated. So some products that I have come across um, that I don't really hear anybody talk about but that I think are really freaking good. So the first product I think is underrated is this Born Pretty Store Highlight and Contour Palette. So I have mine in color number 5. So all of these colors are completely matte. You get a white, a light yellow, a medium brown and a dark brown. And both of these brown colors are cool toned. These two colors are amazing to contour with. I use this color but if you are darker you could definitely use this one. And I love this light yellow color for setting my under eye area. And I also like the white color if you just want to brighten up somewhere, if you have light skin like me. And I think this is perfect if you don't want to buy the Anastasia um, contour kit or the Kat Von D contour kit. Because you can really contour and highlight with this palette. It is not as good as the Kat Von D contour kit, but it is good. So yeah, this is something I never hear anyone talk about, but it is really good. So check it out if you are looking for a highlight and contour palette. So next up, I want to talk about these Beard Cosmetics glitters. So I know that not everybody is interested in putting glitter on the face, but you guys know me and you know that I love some glitter. So I just have three colors right here. I have gone ahead and ordered some more colors because I truly love these glitters. So first of all, it's really quite difficult to get your hands on some cosmetic grade glitter. It's not just something that every brand makes. So when I, when I came across these glitters from BH Cosmetics, which they're super affordable, I just instantly fell in love. These glitters are so beautiful. They have like the perfect size and they come in so many different colors and you get a whole lot in each uh, little package. And these never give me any kind of problems when it comes to like my eye area. So yeah, I just love these. And I'm so happy I found out about BH Cosmetics glitters. And by the way, you can of course apply these to your eyes, but actually you can use like a pink or the red one on your lips and get a really pretty glitter lip. And yeah, I never hear anyone talk about these. So these are another product that I think is really underrated. So next product is this eyeliner from W7. This is their Magic Gel Eyeliner and this is one of the best eyeliner pencils I have ever used. I have tried the King Cole Eyeliner from W7. It looks very similar to this one but don't pick that one up, it's not very good. This one, on the other hand, is amazing. It's so creamy and pigmented. It just, when you apply it to a waterline, it just glides on and it's full color. And I find that it also has a really great staying power. And this eyeliner is definitely up there with my Urban Decay Zero eyeliner pencil. But again, I never hear anyone talk about this and I think that's a shame because it's really affordable and it's really really good okay so next up we have the elf mascara primer i love this stuff i really like to use this when i'm doing like quite a glamorous look but i'm not going to wear falsies because this really pumps up my lashes and it just makes them bigger and better i have been so impressed with this mascara primer so if you are not really into falsies but you really want your own lashes to be nice and big and you know, be the best that they can be. I definitely recommend this. And yeah, again, I never really hear anyone talk about this and it's so amazing. Okay, so next product is something I have heard a few people talk about, but it's not something I feel like enough people are talking about. And that's the e.l.f. Essentials Liquid Liners. I have this in a variety of colors. I have it in black and in blue and I have several several glitter eyeliners and this is really good. You get a ton of product in here, it will last you a really long time. And I really love the brush on this one, I feel like it's really easy to control. And I really love the formula, it's really nice and black 
and it goes on quickly and evenly and it dries pretty fast. And yeah, I find that this lasts all day and it's a really great standard no fuss kind of eyeliner. Okay, so next up I have my Catrice primers. So I believe that Catrice was the first brand from whom I ever tried a primer and that was really what got me started with primers because I absolutely fell in love with that primer and I don't even remember what it's called anymore but I remember I just loved it and of course they discontinued it. I do like these Catrice primers as well and I just I have tried I think every Catrice primer there is and I have liked all of them. I just feel like Catrice primers are just really high quality and again I never really hear anyone talk about these but they're good. Okay so the next product is a true bargain and it's the e.l.f. essentials pressed powder so I have mine in the color honey and I do not recommend these powders as an all over setting powder because I don't think they work well for that purpose but if you can find a color that's a bit darker than your skin tone it really works well for a bronzer and that's what I use this one for so the packaging is not the cutest it gets messy really easily but the powder itself is amazing for bronzing. It really is super easy to work with and it's super it's super smooth on the skin. So yeah, I recommend this as a bronzer, not as an actual face powder. Okay, next thing I think is underrated is this blush by Born Pretty Store. So this is in the color O2. It looks like this. And I love this blush. It's so freaking pigmented. So you only need like a tiny bit and it blends out so beautifully and you get such a big amount in each of these blushes and it's just a really freaking great blush and again I never hear anyone talk about these but they're they're amazing so if you're looking for a cute blush I would definitely recommend this so the next product I think is underrated is this lipstick by Wet n Wild and it's not just this lipstick in particular it's this whole lipstick line so this is the I believe this is the silk finish lipstick line and I feel like a lot of people always talk about the mega last lipsticks by Wet n Wild and those are good too but if you're looking for something with shimmer or with a cream finish basically anything that's not matte then definitely check out this line it has amazing lipsticks Again, the packaging is not the cutest, but the product itself is freaking good. This one is in the color Breeze. It's one of my most loved lipsticks because it's a perfect shimmery nude. It reminds me a lot of the new uh, Mariah, Mariah Carey lipstick from MAC. And I made a whole video all about all of these Silk Finish lipsticks and I swatched them all on my lips. So if you're interested, you can check out that video. But yeah, generally I don't think enough people talk about these and they are really good. So next up I have these Wet n Wild lip liners. And again, I have made a whole video about these where I show every single color and I talk about them and all that good stuff. And yeah, I feel like these are amazing and not enough people talk about these. These are so freaking affordable and you get such a huge amount. Like, can you see how long these pencils are? And the colors are so beautiful. They do only have six colors, but I highly recommend checking out these lip liners. You got something for like a nude lip, a darker neutral lip. You got something for deep skin tones. You got a red, you got a plum, you got a fuchsia. And not a lot of people talk about these. Um, but they should because these are amazing. Okay, so next up I have eyeshadows from Catrice. So here I have the five eyeshadow palettes that I own from Catrice. And I feel like when we're talking affordable eyeshadows, Catrice is up there. Together with Essence and Wet n Wild, these are some of my favorite affordable eyeshadows. And I also just wanted to mention this one. This is the Absolute Matte Eyeshadow Palette. So you are only getting matte eyeshadows, which is really great for a drugstore brand. And yeah, they have other beautiful colors and they have nude colors and you know, they just have so many beautiful colors and they have a really nice variety of um, finishes. And yeah, these are just some of the best eyeshadows 
from the drugstore, in my opinion. So next up, I have this eyeshadow palette by W7. So I believe this is called the Paint Box. So it looks like this. It contains 77 eyeshadows. And I really love this one because I feel like it's just a little step above like um, e.l.f. palettes and Coastal Scents and BH Cosmetics palettes. It's just a little bit better. You get a lot of matte colors in here and you get mostly neutrals. So I think this is a great palette to um, go for if you're just starting out with makeup. But this palette really has awesome quality. They're really nicely pigmented and really smooth on the eyes. They're not hard to blend at all. So yeah, this is another palette that I feel like is overrated. I mean underrated. <laughs> so next up we have this mascara. This is Gush. This is Gush Show Me Volume. And I talked about this in a recent... Can you hear the storm? It's going crazy right now. But yeah, I talked about this in a recent favorites video. And this mascara is amazing. It is so volumizing, so lengthening, and so black. And it just makes my lashes look the best that they can possibly look. And this also, it doesn't smear on me, which is a huge plus for me. And I never ever hear anyone talk about this. But I know that you can get gosh in Europe and in the UK and in the US. So it's really strange to me that not more people know about this mascara because it's really amazing. Okay, so next up I have the Rimmel Liquid Lipsticks. So I do hear a few people talk about these, but again, I don't feel, feel like enough people talk about them. So I wanted to give them a shout out in this video. So I just have a few different colors here. My absolute favorite one is Skinny Dipping. This is a beautiful brownie nude color. And this it's my most favorite liquid lipstick of all time. And I love these lipsticks because they truly stay on the lips. Once you have applied them and you put on like the top coat, they're not going anywhere before you take them off with makeup remover. I can truly wear these for a whole day with no touch-ups. They don't remove when you kiss or when you eat or when you drink or when you talk or anything like that. They just last and last and last and last. So yeah. These are the best liquid lipsticks, in my opinion. So the second to last thing that I want to talk about is this eyeliner pencil from Black Radiance. This is really a handy little eyeliner. Um, I have it in like a brown color. I don't know the exact name of it, but it's brown. And I really like the consistency of this. And also the color is so pretty. It's not like your typical dark brown color. It's really a beautiful, like, cool-toned, medium brown. So you can actually see it's a brown and not just, you know, a faded black color. And I love the lasting power of this. When I wear it on my upper last lines, it lasts the whole day. And again, I don't hear anyone talk about this, so I needed to shout it out in this video. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to mention is this BB um, Compact from Born Pretty Store. This is amazing if you like that really highlighted full-on look. And I have it in the color number one and this is incredibly light. This is way lighter than my very pale skin tone. So if you are extremely fair and you're looking for something great to um, highlight with, check this out. It is amazing. It is so creamy and so pigmented and I just love how this feels. So when I want that full-on highlighted face and triangles and all that, when I want that look, I use this one because it can truly give me that. And yeah, I have not heard a single person talk about this, so I had to talk about it. But yeah, these are the things that I think are underrated. So I wanted to give them a shout out in this video. And actually, I think all of the things I mentioned were drugstore. So yeah, the more you know. So if you guys have any underrated makeup items that you love, I would love to hear about it. So please tell me in the comment section below. And yeah, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, um, I might do like an overrated makeup products video. I think that could be fun as well. But yeah, that's all. So thank you guys for watching and take care and bye bye.